Hey piggy people, so I just wanted to give you guys some updates on how the piggies are doing. And as you guys saw, I have posted a couple cat videos because I did take in a stray cat. So I just want to give you warning, sometimes there are going to be cat videos. And I realize not everybody signed up to this channel for a cat. But if you aren't interested, obviously just skip that video. There's still going to be lots of piggy videos. I know I did a video saying I'm not going to get more guinea pigs. But the piggies that I have now are going to be with me for a good five to seven years. So we have lots of piggy videos to do. So I just had to get that out of the way. So I wanted to talk to you about the two girls who have abscesses related to dental disease, which is Reese and Velvet. So Reese, as you guys know, it's been since, oh heck, very beginning of the year that we've been dealing with her abscess and fortunately it still has an opening so I can still drain it and clean it on days where it's yucky. It can be painful some days and not other days so we do have her on Medicam and antibiotics and if it's a painful day I have Tramadol to give her and she's comfortable, she eats, she drinks, she hangs out with her friends, she's doing well. There was a couple days, uh, one week, where it was really painful and I was kind of debating about, okay, are we getting close to where I'm going to have to call it? But she has since uh, bounced right back and is very comfortable and the inflammation and stuff where her abscess is was totally down tonight and hardly had anything in it, just a little bit of leakage and she seems happy. So I just kind of go with day by day with Reese if she's happy like for me if a guinea pig's running around eating drinking climbing the bars for treats they still got a very good quality of life when I do have to clean her neck it's maybe for five minutes and yeah she doesn't like it but we're done in five minutes and then she's good and now for Velvet she's in the back cube so I can't look at her right now if she comes out we'll look at her again so Velvet, she had the same problem as Reese. Same incisor fell out, abscess in the same spot on the lower jaw. And that was back in April where we healed up Velvet's abscess. It was actually really nice to heal it because Reese's is an ongoing issue. But unfortunately, a week ago, Velvet was getting an abscess again. Same spot and it was really hot to the touch. So started her back on antibiotics and some pain meds and then just tonight I was cleaning up the piggy's cage because it's cage cleaning so I was doing Velvet's teeth where I file her top teeth and I saw that her abscess had opened so I will show you guys a clip of that if you want I'll give you warning before I put it in so if you don't want to see what an abscess hole looks like you guys should probably skip ahead about 10 seconds So her neck opened up itself and it was already drained. I just had to syringe out some excess junk that was in there, but a lot of it was already drained. Her neck is quite lumpy right at the moment, so I think that's just the abscess sac and hopefully it disintegrates and starts healing up. I really hope that since we healed it once, we can heal it again. We shall find out. Uh, fortunately, just like Reese, she is eating, drinking, happy as can be. So that's all you can ask for for a piggy. It's uh, a lot of stress though with these two girls and their teeth issues because I'm always filing their teeth every week. I do it twice a week for both of them. And then checking on their abscesses twice a day now and giving them medication. So it's a lot. So that's part of the reason why um, with piggies I kind of decided that I've had enough fun. Because it just seems like a lot of stress all the time. And another big reason is because I do have severe allergies to their hay which causes me to have bad asthma. So for my health I do need to have an end to having hay in the house. But as I said I still have many many more years of my sweet little piggies. So I still have to clean out Busby and Autumn. They're hiding off somewhere, but that's my next job to do. We're just doing a nice cage clean. So I do only clean the cages once a week now, which is kind of nice. Saves a little bit on laundry. 
um, in time because I found with less pigs in the really big cage they can easily go a week and everything is hunky-dory. I just have to change the bed pads like usual and the pad that their hay is on every day and then the rest of the cage we just do once a week. Hi Reesey Bear. Baby Bear come on out. Hey little Reesey. What a sweet little baby bear. We bond every day, don't we, little Reese? Even though sometimes you don't like it. What a little cutie. Yeah, so Velvet, sorry guys, she's off in the back. She's probably had enough fun because I did have to syringe out her little neck hole thing. And it probably wasn't very pleasant. So anyway, I have to get back to cleaning out Busby and Autumn. Let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see, and I will work on that. Okay, bye guys! If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!